Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to another session of Not Perfect Zen. Um, here's the hashtags and the ways that you can tag your tiles if you want me to see what you've done, and I love looking at what you've done. Um, for most of my videos, I use a Micron 01, a blending stump, a graphite pencil, and sometimes a kneaded eraser. All right. Um, recently, there was a session, at a seminar at Zentangle called Zen Again. And one of the things they did was announce several new patterns. And this is one of the new patterns. This one is called found about there we go found about and this is a tile that i did recently and i posted it on facebook and instagram and somebody asked me when i was going to do a video so that's what i'm going to do today is show you how to do found about now you won't see any step outs for this because it is only in the czt book called Zenthology, but I can still show you the pattern. Um, this is one of my sketchbooks, and these are some of the ways that I have found that other people have done it on uh, Facebook or Instagram or on the Mosaic app from Zentangle. Uh, this is how I did it in my brown tile. This is another one that just came out, and it is called Mythograph. And I tried to combine these. <laughs> I really don't like how mine came out, but it's okay. And then a couple of other ways that I've seen it done. And I haven't done it in my gray sketchbook yet. <clears throat> but... I'm going to show you basically how to do some of this like I have on this tile. So I'm going to be using a four inch by four and a half inch tile that I finally cut some more of these for myself. And I put them into a disc bound system. And there is a link in the description below the video if you're interested in knowing more about that. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right in to this. Let's go ahead and do our four corner dots. Let's put a border on here. And doesn't matter what size tile you use. I like to use a four inch just to give myself a little bit more room. I used to do more detail smaller things on my tiles but uh, as i get older i find i need to uh, not do them so small okay so similar to what i've done here i'm going to show you the basics of how this pattern works and then i'll show you a couple of different ways that i have learned to do it <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, the way this starts is you're going to put the stem. Uh, these are like leaves. Okay, so this is the center vein or like the stem of a leaf. And we're going to put those down first. So coming about the middle of that little vein or stem, whoops, you can make it as fat or as thin as you would like. We're going to come off of that one again. Okay, and I'm trying to go up to that corner. So let's aim that one a little bit more in that direction. 
And you're always going to do all of these little stems first. Okay. I'm just going to put like three on each side. All right. So from there, you're going to put these little, almost like a pregnant belly on there. Okay. So let's go back to here this one and almost like a an s curve and down i'm going to go across the bottom of that stem and i'm going to go ahead and do all of them on this side and i'm coming back down to about where that vein meets Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. And again, I'm coming close to where that one meets. And then back down. Okay. Now, the rest of this leaf is going to go behind that one. And we're going to start at the bottom and pick up her pen. This is where it would go behind. Put her pen back down. And there we go. So each of these leaves is coming out of the vein of the first leaf, if that makes sense. So we're going to go back up here. Bring that one around and behind. And then it goes behind that one. Rearrange this light a little bit, I think. Okay, I think that's better. Let's go to the top of this one. Bring it behind and down to that one. And we're just going to make our way up these leaves. All right. And then this one. It's just going to end right there. We'll just imagine that that, oops, you know what? I should have done that one first. That's why it didn't look right. Okay, we did an oops, but that's okay. Let's do it again on this side. Okay, so I'm going to this time bring this around almost like a mucha and bring that back down. So you can do whatever you want on these ends or just keep them like that. Get another one, make it kind of round and bring it back down. So on this one, I actually did do MUCA. And I learned that from Sonia Yenser, CZT. I took a little class from her. And that's how she did it. And I thought that was really pretty. And I'm trying to do like three of these little stems on each side. It doesn't matter if we go outside of our border. Oh, but I do need to stay on camera. Okay, so we have our little stems and I'm gonna start at the bottom here. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the tip, but I'm gonna bring that down. Go across there. And we could go ahead and do this on the same side for this first step. You can make these as fat or as thin as you would like. Okay.
All right. So now as we go up, I need to go from this side to this one, this one, alternate going back and forth. So I'm going to go to the top of this and just kind of take off from there and go behind. And then pretend that I'm going behind there and then bring this one back down to the bottom. Now flip over to this side. Again, go behind. It's going to touch there. Let's go back to this side. Moving your tile to keep your hand comfortable. And down. Go back over to this one. Just kind of come off that top edge and around and down. Now back to this side. Behind and down. And then back to this side. Okay. Now on this one, I'm going to add just some auras, a little striping on the back side of each of these little leaves. Okay, same thing on this side. Get it in there too. Okay, now on this side. All right, this side. And then on the big one. Okay, so there's two versions. Let's bend it again. And I'm just going to do the regular stem coming out. And again, we're going to start at about the middle of that one. Make our little stem and come back. I'm not sure if I said, but Zen again is just for CZTs. It's kind of a reunion. I did not attend. It would have been a load of fun, but uh, I could not afford it. But I did get the book. Oops. Okay. This one. I'm going to come off of this and make it kind of wavy and then back down. And like I said, I can go ahead and not have to keep flipping my tile for this step. Make them wavy. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over to this side. Makes it look a little bit more like a leaf. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the back side and then we're going to be going back and forth. So we're going to make it look like it's 
a little bit way beyond this side too. Flip over here, wavy. And this part, you won't really see it that much. Down. There's really a lot that you can do with this. Just use your imagination. I've really enjoyed looking at what everyone has done. Okay, so there's another one and then we're going to do one more this one i'm going to come around and just do a little swirl at the end and then bring my little leaf back around or stem it's not the leaf not yet it's part of the leaf if you want to, just do your little stem and come back down and then go back out to the end and put your little swirl. Okay. And I like the edge of this paper. I buy it in big sheets. Well, I used to. I haven't bought it anymore in a while. I'm still using what I have. But it comes in 22-inch uh, by 30-inch sheets. And then I cut that down. And that's when I was teaching classes. But... Uh, yeah, I'm just using it to make my own tiles. Okay, so now we have that. And we're just going to make the regular little belly on each of these. Okay, let's go down the other side. Okay, so now we're going to go back to this side. Remembering to go behind. Switch to the left. And down. Sorry. I rearranged my desk just a little bit. And now I'm not paying attention to where I'm at. Okay, back to this side. This side. And then that side. All right, so there's four different ways to make it. And then you could do any kind of variations on this that you would like. So for instance, one of the things that I've done is to just fully darken this. And I think that gives it kind of a cool look.
So there were either five or six new patterns released by Zentangle in the Zen Again seminar. And I have not practiced all of them. I really liked this one because it's uh, organic. And I have seen just gorgeous tiles with this pattern and the other new patterns. But like I said, I haven't tried the others yet, except for the one that I showed you earlier. Okay, so that's one idea. Another that I've seen is putting some little orbs, filling them in, make them smaller as you go up. I have seen uh, printant coming up that way. Okay, so there we have it, four different things. I'm not going to try to put anything in the center here. Um, this is a practice that I did this morning, and I did kind of a print on and connected them, but I don't like how it looks. Um, I did do more of a regular print on here, and then I put MUCA coming out since I had MUCA on the ends of these but um i think just for showing you how this pattern works i'm going to just leave it for now uh, as far as shading you could just add graphite on one side So on the side where I don't have the little dots or orbs, I'm going to just add some graphite. And then I'm going to take my blending stump and soften it. Okay, you could just put shading where it looks like one of these is behind another. So, like these edges here. Actually gets a little confusing. <laughs> Which one is going behind the other? Okay. Um, let's see, on this one, let's put the graphite up the stem. And I've mentioned this before. This is your tile. Just have fun with it. Play my little game called What If. What if I do it this way? Or what if I do it that way? Um, all the different 
things I've shown you from my sketchbook. It helps that I've had examples from other people, but I have tried to combine a few things on my own. I do depend a lot on inspiration from what others have shared. Okay, and I'm just gonna add on this one, just a little bit of shading at the tips of each of these, at the top and the bottom, okay, where our lines are and even where it's open. Tops, a little bit at the bottom. And we can always come back and add a little bit more shading if we need to, but I like to start lightly. And then I'm going to come back with my blending stump and just push it toward the middle, but I'm not going to fill that in. I want to have a highlight there in the middle. See that? So it makes it look like that belly is pushed up toward you. Gives it a little bit of dimension. I love how that looks. And you could do that on all these, but I'm just trying to show you on each one of these a little bit different. And then you can pick and choose what you want to use on yours. And just try to soften that edge so it's not an exact line. All right, there we go. I'd like to see your ideas. If you do it this way, what you would put in the center, you can put um, fescue, you can just put all kinds of things to tie these together. Again, let's put on the back. This is found about. Okay. I always like to make sure I put the name of the tile on the back so that when I come back later, I remember what I did. What happened? Okay, there we go. So again, there's that one. And this was the practice tile that I did this morning, which is very much like that one. And then nothing on my gray. There they are. My sketchbook. I really enjoyed this one. This is cross hatching, and these were nice and tall. Let me zoom in again on this one a little bit. Um, yeah, I've been putting little quotes on my sketchbook pages. This one, <laughs> it just didn't turn out right. And this one was kind of odd too. And this one looks like an undersea creature. <laughs> but it's fun. Just just have fun. This is for you. This is not a contest. Um, this when I go pick up my grandkids at school, I have this sketchbook in my car, which is actually a watercolor pages with 
dot grid. I guess you can see that. And um, so this one I liked. This one I was trying to get one to come off of it. And this one, I don't know what happened. <laughs> but these two were okay. All right. Again, I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And um, I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much. Bye.